Hi everyone, in this task you will be building a simple calculator. This is a rather fun one. It is going to be a little bit a, a little bit of a larger application or program, but nonetheless it's going to be supremely easy. So you're going to write a program that is going to ask a user first to select an arithmetic operation. The arithmetic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then the program is going to ask the, the user, after selecting the operation, the program is going to ask the user for two numbers. Then, based on the operation that the user has selected, it is going to res return the result for that operation. So, as usual, pause the video, attempt the challenge, I'm sure you're going to shine brightly, and you're going to see my solution in three seconds. All right, so how was the program? I'm sure you enjoyed it. Uh, first off, I'm gonna, what I would like to do, the way that I'm going to solve this, there is again no one way that you can go about this application. But the way that I'm going to solve it is I'm going to create four functions for four different arithmetic operations and then we are going to move on to these to the program input and selection by the user. So first off, I'm gonna say adding all right let me comment this one out adding two numbers so to be able to add two numbers i'm going to create a function and i'm going to just call it addition let's pass in num1 and num2 and this is very simple i just want this function to return num1 plus num2 and then we are going to say subtracting two numbers Let's create the function subtraction, def subtraction, and I'm going to pass in the same uh, two parameters. So we have num1 and num2. And very simple, we just want this function to return num1 minus num2. Save that so everything is perfectly fine. Let me remove that space, provide the space there. So the next one is going to be multiplying. Uh, two numbers forgive the spelling if it is incorrect so we are going to say multiplication it's a rather long one num1 and num2 by now you know the drill we just return num1 times num2 and eventually we are going to say dividing two numbers let's say no, def uh, division division there we go so let's pass in num1 along with num2 return now here you can go any any way about this you can divide num2 by num1 or num1 by num2 but you have to keep in mind that in order to avoid the zero division exception you need to make sure that num2 in case of the division is not zero it's not zero then if it is zero you're going to encounter that zero division exception so far we have our four uh, functions now I'm going to ask the user to uh, to select an operation so I'm going to say print uh, and I'm going to say please select an operation and I'm going to say let me capitalize this O and capitalize this s and let me remove it and write it again please select an operation and then and i'm going to say one is going to be addition so if the user enters one we are going to select for the user addition the second one is going to be subtraction the uh the third one is going to be multi oops multiplication very simple program but it's a little bit longer but very simple again and the final one is going to be division did i spell it correctly yeah so this is going to be number four and just to keep the program a little bit readable i'm just going to provide an empty print statement which is going to print like an empty space now i'm going to use the while loops and i'm going to say for as long as this is true what do we want to do fixed i'm going to first i'm going to grab the number that the user is going to input we're going to convert it to an integer and we are going to ask the user enter 
uh, your choice. This choice is going to be based on whichever operation the user chooses. And I'm going to give them four different um, outcomes so the user can choose a one, two, three, four. If the user does not choose any of these one, two, three, four, I would like to tell the user to please choose one. Or I would like to not do anything and just wrap up the program. So you can go either way about this. I'm just going to say if input num is in this range, one, two, three, and four, then if it is in this range, what I would like to do is, where is the scope of that? Uh, I'm going to say num1 is equal to integer input. Now, this is going to be the first number the user enters. So I'm going to say enter first number. Perfect. And I'm going to, oops, keep changing the language. Come on. Yeah. And I'm going to ask the user to enter second number. Enter second number. And let me provided as two so now we are going to check so if the user enters one we know it is addition so we need to work with that if it is two we, we know that it is subtraction in the order of our functions if it is three multiplication and division four for division we need to implement like one more line of code one more piece of logic and now what do we want to do so after the user has entered we're still inside this if statement keep that in mind we're going to say if input num input num equals one it means that it is addition right then we want to tell the user uh, a we want to show it a format a string and we are going to say uh, num one which is which has the user entered plus num2 which has the which the user has entered as well is going to be equal to now here is the magic part now here instead of just adding num1 and num2 we do have a function for reusability so i would like to call the function here and yes you can call the function within uh, format of strings as well because the i the whole idea of these curly braces is to grab the value of something a variable in this case, this function is treated as a variable and it calls it. Then it is going to return an operation for us. So I'm going to pass in num1 and num2. Now keep in mind, these num1 and num2, they are arguments. They are these num1 and num2. These two, they are parameters. They are, they are not the same. So this num1 and num2, these are the ones that the user enters. And then we pass it to the parameters. They just happen to have the same name. That's it. So this is going to be our addition. Let me copy it down three times. The next one is going to be subtraction. So if num1, if input num equals two, we know that it is um, subtraction. So I'm just going to, you know, it's a very long name. So I better copy that and put it right here. So it's subtraction num1 and num. if input num is 3, then we know that it is multiplication. But this star, it doesn't really scream multiplication. So I'm just going to pass in an x here. And uh, let's grab the name of this function as well. So this is multiplication. Pass it here. And num1 and num2 is the same. And finally, if it is 4, what do we want to tell the user? We want to tell the, the user that num1 divided by num2 and let's grab division division perfect but before actually doing that we need to check if num2 is zero we don't want num2 to be zero for the division because in that case we want we will have a an exception raised so let me reduce that space so we are going to say if num2 equals zero we don't care if it is less than zero we just want to say print. Um, I'm just going to say cannot divide by zero. This is only for the if input is equal to four, which means that we are only going to take a look at this. We're going to run it when it is the division case. And we are going to say else, it means that num2 is not zero, then we want to print this statement. So I'm just going to add that hit enter and there we go 
and eventually I want to break out of this if statement as well because I don't want it to run again and again so I'm just going to say now I have made a mistake here instead of using all these if statements I should provide an LF statement so I could basically say LF you could do F but and you could do LF LF is better because if you do F each if statement is going to be individual but if you do LF only one of them can be true at a time that's the difference so we have all these LFs we break out of this loop so I'm just gonna say break and when I hit enter it is immediately going to go to the if statement and then in here we are going to handle if the user does not enter one two three or four what do we want to tell the user so we want to tell the user invalid operation very robotic right so there we go now let's test it so testing is going to take a little bit of long <laughs> longer time because we need to test it for all possible uh, combinations and outcomes for that I'm just gonna go full screen with this so first we are going to choose addition 10 and I'm gonna pass in 12 10 plus 12 22 so addition works perfectly fine let's run it again you can see that that empty print statement provided this line here so I'm gonna say 2 uh, which is subtraction so I'm gonna say 10 and 5 we should get 5 there we go for the other one I'm gonna say multiplication I'm gonna say 15 times 15 it is 225 there we go and I'm gonna test uh, division as well I'm gonna say 10 divided by 23 which should be 0.43 something now there is something we can do about all these decimal points so um, this entire thing I could add it to a round function which is going to round it and I could pass in 2 as the number of decimal points that we would like to see so let's run this program again let's pass in 4 I'm going to do 10 and uh, was it 23 yeah so okay so it did uh, print it immediately oh the reason for that is it is outside of it so how can I make this work let me go back it should be inside of that perfect it was outside that was it that, that was why the formatted string took it literally now you can see it looks like a function and it says round a number given to a given precision in decimal digits so I think here I can pass in two there we go let's run the program again I'm gonna say uh, 4 10 and 23 there we go it is 0 0.43 so instead of all this mumbo jumbo we just rounded up rounded it up or I think it is up so uh, and one last thing I need to check if we do get two things I need to check for two things one if we do get that error if the second number is zero so I'm gonna say 10 divided by zero you can see that it says cannot divide by zero so it is a perfect way if you don't do it then you're going to get an exception which is not something like user friendly let's uh let's not provide one two three four let's provide five it says invalid operation so if i and it, it, is, it is going to ask again why does it ask again the reason that it asks again is because this input this is outside this the realm of this if statement if this input were to be inside this if else statement when the else ran then the program basically uh, wrapped up and it didn't run again because this is outside of it it is independent of if this if statement so it doesn't matter what happens in the if statement we either calculate everything or we don't this if this input is going to run that's why it is going to ask for numbers as long as it is, is it is not going to get that the number that it wants it is going to run so I'm just gonna say 23 plus 23 and there we go 46 that's it for this application see you in the next one